Hello, everyone. I'm Omnail Amroni. I'm currently the uh, COP27 president uh, and voice on youth uh, for the first time. But I'm also working as a plastic and uh, reconstructive uh, surgery resident at Ain Shams University in Cairo, in Egypt. And I've been working for the past six years on the interlinkages between health and climate change. I see the health impacts of climate change uh, in Egypt and in my workplace uh, on a daily basis. I see patients every day suffering from asthma and respiratory conditions because of air pollution and the high levels that we have. I also see patients suffering with heat stress because of the increasing temperature, especially in the elderly population. The reason why I am, as a doctor, engaged in climate change because I see that it's my ethical obligation to not just treat my patients, but also promote the health of my community and the environment, which our life depends on. And climate change is the biggest health threat to our own humanity. And it is our duty to act on climate change, advocate and be the trusted voice uh, to the climate crisis. And climate change impacts not just our physical health as youth, but also our mental health because of the stress and the anxiety that we feel towards the intergenerational injustice that climate change brings. We are disproportionately impacted. A child born today is going to see two to eight times the number of extreme weather events that we are seeing now. And this means that the impacts of climate change, we are going to bear uh, these detrimental effects, especially on our health and our future. And at the same time, we are the least when it comes to our participation at the decision-making process and the climate negotiation. So that is why climate change is an inter generational uh, justice issue that health plays a key role in its impact. So my message for the health community is that we need to start by ourselves as a community to build climate awareness and our responsibility uh, towards being the trusted voice in our community, in our governments, and to drive the urgency that is needed for climate action because we provide the science, but we also provide the needs of our communities that we see on a daily basis. And we need to translate our experiences into policy actions, especially at COP.